So one aspect of 5G is uh, the use of phased array antennas to do beam steering and uh, beam forming uh, to overcome uh, the higher path flows that we have at uh, millimeter wave frequencies. Uh, currently, the antenna spectrum to be used for 5G is somewhere between 24 and uh, 90 gigahertz. Um, and with these phase array antennas, it will become hard to uh, do conducted testing. That means to put a cable on a device or on a wireless module and do those measurements. So what we here at Roden Schwartz are investigating right now is uh, over-the-air testing capabilities. And this is uh, one of our first uh, products in, in going into this direction. So let me explain the setup to you. So basically we have one of our uh, new shield boxes here, the 7124. Um, and in that shield box, I can install a frame like this that you can see here, which is holding OTA power sensors. So this power sensor is basically nothing else than a Vivaldi antenna uh, with, a, with a diode so that I can do actual power readings, which are controlled by a PC and which you can see here running in the background. So that frame I can put into um, uh, the shielded chamber. I can open it and I can use my potential 5G device and put it in here and close the chamber and now I would have the capability to do a simple go-no-go -no -go test um, uh, in terms of uh, beamforming. What does that mean? So I can command the device where a control software, for instance, to generate a signal and transmit into a certain direction. And with these OTA power sensors, I would, of course, be able to capture that signal and do a basic uh, power measurement. So if the device would steer into a certain direction, of course, my uh, power readings would go up. You can easily see that here if I just block this with my hand, you see how the uh, change uh, on the display there in terms of the power reading. So that is a simple go-no-go -no -go test uh, in terms of 5G for OTA testing. Initially, we designed that around 8 or 2, 11 AD, um, a technology that is utilizing the 60 gigahertz spectrum. And to go up to 60 gigahertz, we basically just launched uh, here at the show uh, our new up converter, the SEU, that goes into uh, 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 to tag team with the SMW vector signal generator, uh, which basically takes my uh, modulated signal with two gigahertz bandwidth and up converts that to 60 gigahertz. And those power OTA power sensors would be able to read that, but also we tested them at 28 and 39 gigahertz. So it's a solution around 5G.